περισσότερο ως ορεκτικό για το πλούσιο πρόγραμμα του NBA που ακολουθεί, τα NBA Highlights και το NBA Action, τα 10 πιο αξιοσημείωτα γεγονότα που συνέβησαν αυτή την εβδομάδα στο κορυφαίο πρωτάθλημα του κόσμου. Μερικέ φορέ από ό,τι φαίνεται ο Σκότι Πίπεν θυμώνει και τώρα που γύρισε ο Τζόρνταν, μάλλον θα έχει την ευκαιρία να θυμώνει περισσότερο ή τουλάχιστον να θυμώνουν μαζί. Οπότε είναι δύσκολα τα πράγματα για όποιον βρεθεί στο δρόμο του. Ε, εδώ φτάσαμε στο τέλο τη ε, σημερινή εκπομπή, στο τέλο του time out, αλλά δεν έχουμε τελειώσει ακόμα. Ε, μένει η κλήρωση για να δούμε ποιοι είναι οι νικητέ του σημερινού μα διαγωνισμού. Αλλά βεβαίω ε, πριν προχωρήσουμε στην κλήρωση, να δούμε ποια είναι η σωστή απάντηση στο σημερινό quiz. Το ερώτημα λοιπόν ήταν ποιοι ήταν οι Ποιοι είναι οι παίκτε με τι περισσότερε συμμετοχέ στην ιστορία του πρωταθλήματο τη πρώτη εθνική κατηγορία και η σωστή απάντηση βεβαίω ε, σε αυτήν δεν συμπεριλαμβάνονται δύο από του παίκτε ε, που είχαν μπει στην αρχική πεντάδα, ο Γκέκο και ο Τρότζο. Η σωστή απάντηση λοιπόν είναι Παναγιώτη Γιαννάκη 456 συμμετοχέ, ο Απόστολο Κόντο με 416 και ο Βασίλη Γκούμα με 412. Γιαννάκη, Κόντο και Γκούμα, αυτοί είναι οι τρει πρώτοι. Η ώρα τη αλήθεια τώρα, όπω κάθε Κυριακή, να δούμε πού θα πάνε τα δώρα που προσφέρονται σε αυτό το διαγωνισμό. Γιώργο, κάνε την αρχή. Το, το αν θα τύχει να είναι κάποιο που μένει σαν πελοκήπου, μην το θεωρήσετε σικέ. Το νούμερο 16. Το νούμερο 16, λοιπόν, που αντιστοιχεί στον Δημήτρη Κουταρδά. Από την Αγία Παρασκευή, κοντά πέσαμε. <laughs> ε, Πελοποννήσου 37, Αγία Παρασκευή. Ε, να δούμε ποιος είναι ο δεύτερος νικητής. Το νούμερο 40. Το νούμερο 40 που αντιστοιχεί στον Γιώργο Νικολάου, Μπιζανίου 17, Χαλάνδρη. Γιώργο, ένα ακόμα. Και το νούμερο 35, έχουμε λοιπόν 16, 40 και 35, ε, Γιάννης Γιανακόπουλος από τον Άγιο Ιωάννη Τωρέντι από την Αθήνα. Αυτά λοιπόν είναι ε, τα τρία νούμερα που κερδίζουν, να τα επαναλάβω, το 35, το 40 και το 16. Οι νικητές βεβαίως γνωρίζουν και θα έρθουν σε επαφή με, την, με το αθλητικό τιμά τη τηλεόρασης του Sky για να μάθουν τα διαδικαστικά. Εδώ λοιπόν κυρίε και κύριοι και το σημερινό time out ολοκληρώνεται. Αλλά βεβαίω για να μην σα αφήσουμε σε αγωνία και να μην αφήσουμε σε αγωνία κυρίω αυτού που άκουσαν τα ονόματά του, α δούμε τι κερδίζουν.
Whoa! Evolution is very cool. 30 million years later, Skechers Sport Utility Footwear? See? Some things are worth waiting for. Skechers, what the world's coming to! Εδώ λοιπόν φτάσαμε στο τέλος. Γιώργο Φλόρε, ευχαριστώ πολύ. Και εγώ, Καλή ευχαριστώ επιτυχία πολύ. και προσωπικά και στην ομάδα σου. Ευχαριστούμε που μια μέρα ξεκούρασης που δικαιούται κάθε παίκτη την ανάλωση ερχόμενος μεταξύ, επαναλαμβάνω, <laughs> από το σπίτι σου. Ε, και ήρθε εδώ στην παρέα μου. Όσο για σένα, Λόρεν Σπάντερμπεκ, που βλέπει την εκπομπή, όσο ελληνικά μπορεί να καταλάβει, την άλλη φορά να προγραμματίσει καλύτερα το ρόλο σου. Κυρίε και κύριοι, καλώ απόγευμα. Ήταν μια προσφορά των συναγερμών Spyball. Συναγερμός Spyball. Σφαιρικός και απόλυτος. Με τη χρυσή εγγύηση Σάξον. Το πρώτο ουίσκι φτιάχτηκε στην Ιρλανδία. Το καλύτερο εξακολουθεί να φτιάχνεται εκεί. Τζέιμσον. The Spirit of Ireland. Απολαύστε εδώ και τώρα NBA στιγμιότυπα από το Μαρτίνι Μπιάνκο. I don't know about you, but I got the goosebumps for this one. This is very special. Welcome back, Michael Jordan. Never say never. <laughs> There's something familiar in the air. Michael Jordan is back. Once we see him out there in that red uniform playing for the Chicago Bulls, that'll be the emotional moment we've looked for and we've all waited for. Michael's return has the Bulls talking title. Drexler the other way in a hurry. Oh, no! Mario Alley! But the rest of the league will have something to say about that, so hang on, it's going to be a wild ride. Let's do this together, man. We did it all year together. Let's do it now. Let's go. One, now. two, three, rock it! Penny Hardaway. We begin this week's action reel with the return of Michael Jordan. After evading the media all week, Jordan finally made the announcement everyone has been waiting for. We'd all love to win a championship. It's still not going to resolve the issue and the problems that we have of a basketball team retrieving the ball, getting rebounds, and playing defense. That's still a problem. We're going to get some scoring, I'll tell you that, though. I got three words. Thank you, baseball. If I were a, a two-god in the league, I would start worrying because uh, the Tasmanian devil is back. He scripted this whole situation. So he's not going to come back unless he's going to come back with a bang and he's looking good. You can believe that. Michael Jordan today comes back not just to play, but again, aiming to be the best. The only remaining question was whether or not he could return at the same level. Jordan still looking for his first field goal. And there it is. And after an overtime loss to the Pacers, Jordan was less than satisfied with his performance. It was one of those bad games that I've had in the past, you know, and I got something to build upon from this point on. Jordan and the Bulls will look to dethrone the defending champion Houston Rockets, a team that has been playing mediocre basketball since the acquisition of Clyde Drexler. We took a uh, dip, went through a very uh, tough period, uh, had some team meetings, uh, very good communication, and I feel uh, for the last couple weeks now, we have been headed in the right direction. Against Philadelphia, the Rockets exploded by scoring their season-high 136 points. Kenny Smith, who's been unstoppable of late, hit five three-pointers, while Drexler led eight players in double figures with 26. You take it, my friend. Bye, slam-a-jam at its best.
Bill Blair's Minnesota Timberwolves had upset the Rockets twice this year, but Houston wasn't going to let that happen again. Sparked by the return of Carl Herrera from injury, the Rockets appear to be getting momentum heading into the playoffs. Well, we're hoping we can get a, a home court advantage in the first round. It'll be tough to catch San Antonio, Phoenix, and Utah, but we know what we can do, and we just want to get the home court advantage in the first round. On Sunday, Herrera made his first start alongside fellow University of Houston alums Akeem Olajuwon and Clyde Drexler, and once again, Houston came out victorious. Rudy Tomjanovich's team wins its fifth straight. The Seattle Supersonics were another team who'd been struggling since the All-Star break. Like Houston, the Sonics righted themselves, thanks in large part to Detlef Shrimp, who's been hitting three-pointers on a record pace. Over to Shrimp for a three. Got it! Yes, indeed! Seattle held Boston to just 34% shooting and coasted to a 20-point win. Next, Miami came to town and Coach Alvin Gentry was left scratching his head as Irvin Johnson faced Seattle's attack. Drop pass to Gary ahead to Irvin, has a step to the glass! The stingy Sonics defense allowed just 78 points as they registered their fourth straight win, outscoring their opponents by an average of 24 per game. Against Detroit, Shrimp was again deadly from downtown, raising his average to 69% over his last 14 games. Detlef was very good. Gary had a, a spurt early in, I think, the fourth quarter. Irvin was solid. You know, it was good to see him play a, a special game. A special player has returned from injury in Golden State, and in this week's News Notes and Quotes, we welcome back all-star forward Chris Mullen. There's nothing more frustrating than uh, being injured for me, um, but it feels good to get back. It makes, you know, not only winning, but, you know, it makes all them therapy sessions and all them getting in early and practicing and not being able to play, all that stuff. You know, you look back and you say, hey, that's what I got to do. Richard Dumas also returned to the lineup this week. His last NBA action was during the 93 season when he was a promising rookie. Let's see this crowd as Dumas comes in. Wouldn't it be grand to see him hit a bucket here? Oh, and it is! He did it! Yeah! All-star guard Mark Price has returned from a fractured wrist just in time for Cleveland's playoff run, while Spurs forward Dennis Rodman is out with a shoulder injury. Help for the Spurs could come from assistant Dave Cowens. One of the reasons I took the job was, you know, you're around the game and you're playing all the time and it's easy to work out. Cowens' former coach Tom Heinsohn was honored by his peers this week. Tom was one of the founders of the Players' Union and one of the founders of the Coaches' Union. Coming up next, Denver sharpshooting guard Mahmoud Abdul-Raouf will be holding court. I'm not playing anymore. I'm taking this serious. And if you're serious about your NBA highlights, stick around for this week's edition of NBA Encore. Eight gets to the rim anyway and lays it in. Awesome. Awesome. The NBA, I love this game. Good knows baseball. Oh, my goodness. Barkley. Oh, yes. Oh, I love this game. Give me, give me, give me some. I love this game. It's the sweat. And things beginning to heat up. He is on fire. It's the muscle. You're so strong. So strong. He turns any court into muscle beach. It's the ultimate workout. Look at Rodman. Where did he come from? What an effort by Grant. Starks pump it away. Look at him work. tell by the sound of your voice if you're really in love with me and you are yes we are i love this 
όλη τη δροσιά και τη βιταμίνη C ενό πορτοκαλιού σε μια μικρή καραμέλα. Σας παρουσιάζουμε τη Βίτα C. Νέες καραμέλες Βίτα C. Υπέροχη γεύση και βιταμίνη C από την Χόλς. Για ζεστό νερό Elko Duro Glass από ατσάλι και γυαλί. Δεν σκουριάζει ποτέ. Συνδέεται με καλοριφέρ και ηλιακό συλλέκτη για δωρεάν ζεστό νερό. Elko Duro Glass ο πρώτος σε πωλήσει. Πέντε χρόνια εγγύηση. Έλκο. Σιγουριά και εύκολη ζωή. Κάτι Σάρκ Crossing 95 κατάκτησε την κορυφή. Το Σεπτέμβριο στον Όλυμπο. Διαδρομές με Nissan Terrano, Ορειβασία, Καγιάκ, Διάσχηση Φαραγγιού. Κάτι Σάρκ Crossing 95. Τόλμησε τον αγώνα. Φέτος... Η Δέλτα δίνει χρώμα στο καλοκαίρι σας. Με νέα εμφάνιση και νέες συσκευασίες το κάνει πιο φωτεινό, πιο μοντέρνο, πιο απολαυστικό, πιο κεφάτο. Δέλτα, μπροστά από το παγωτό. Τώρα η οδήγηση γίνεται παιχνίδι με ελαστικά τόγιο γιατί παίρνουν στροφές, πατάνε γερά, αντέχουν, κολλάνε στον δρόμο, αισθάνονται, προσέχουν. Ελαστικά τόγιο σε επαφή με τον δρόμο. Αυτή την Τετάρτη γεμίστε τις βαλίτσες σας με το μισό δισεκατομμύριο του Jackpot στο Λότο. Jackpot στο Λότο και ταξιδέψτε με μισό δισεκατομμύριο. Εμπρός λοιπόν παίξτε και εσείς Λότο. Λότο. Ονειρεμένα κέρδη. Ανάθεμα την ώρα. Τετά! Γιατί δεν τον ενημερώνει κανείς. Γεωργάρα! Γεωργάρα! Ήρθε ο ραβωνιαστικός. Ρίξε μου! Ήρθε και θα φύγει. Πριν φύγει, θα μάθει πώς φέρονται σε κυρίες. Τάχτου, χάνει, μήνε. Έτσι κι αλλιώς. Αυτή την τρίτη στις 9.30 το βράδυ. Φυσικά στο Sky. Το μεγάλο παιχνίδι Ρωσίας-Σκοτίας στην τηλεόραση του Sky. Παρακολουθήστε την Τετάρτη στις 7 παρατατάρτο το απόγευμα σε απευθεία σύνδεση με το στάδιο Λένιν της Μόσχας τον αγώνα της προκριματικής φάσης του Ευρωπαϊκού Πρωταθλήματος μεταξύ Ρωσίας-Σκοτίας σε ένα παιχνίδι που ενδιαφέρει άμεσα την εθνική μας ομάδα. Ρωσία-Σκοτία. Τετάρτη στις 7 παρατατάρτο φυσικά στο Sky. Welcome back to NBA Action. Now, one of the league's most inspiring young players is holding court. At LSU, Chris Jackson established himself as one of the top college guards. By the time he entered the NBA, he seemed ready for the challenge. You know, this is like a dream come true, and I'm just glad that they picked me, and I'm going to do whatever I can to please them. But his dream come true quickly became a nightmare as he struggled beneath the weight of superstar expectations. Chris Jackson denied, rejected by Eldon Campbell. Each game was a struggle and Jackson's career seemed destined for anonymity. Out of shape and demoralized, Jackson found himself on the bench and whispers of a wasted draft pick began to haunt him. But Jackson wasn't a stranger to adversity. Since childhood, he suffered with a nervous disorder called Tourette's Syndrome. Tourette's helped me as a person and, and as a basketball player to understand what it is that I need to do and must do to persevere. Now at a crossroads, Jackson would need every bit of his emotional strength and resilience to revive what was slowly becoming a failing career. It would take a defining moment to begin the turnaround. One of my friends, we went to the store one night and uh, he picked up an article and it said something, I was a bust. 
uh, that I w didn't suppose to be in the NBA, and it hurt me. And I just looked at him and I said, from now on, I'm not playing anymore. I'm taking this serious. Jackson now approached the game with renewed vigor and gritty determination. What followed was one of the greatest improvements that the NBA has ever witnessed. Chris Jackson on fire! Oh, man! And it is now Bedlam here at McNichols Arena. They have queued in to the new Chris Jackson. Now fulfilling his great promise, Jackson would capture the NBA's most improved player award. And completing the dramatic change in his life, he would become a Muslim and change his name to Mahmoud Abdul Raouf. First to coast, Raouf and a beauty! A lot of things that I went through as far as first two years in the NBA, a lot of the problems that I was having, I think it put things in perspective and made me appreciate more what it is that I have and what I had to go through to get it. Now firmly established as one of the league's rising stars, this multifaceted player will look to improve upon last season's surprise trip to the Western Conference semifinals and look to elevate this Nuggets team to an even higher ground. Rauf takes the shot. He drains it. It's tied with 1.3 remaining. Now that was beautiful. Rauf and his teammates were involved in one of the most exciting finishes in basketball history and in NBA stories, we relive an incredible Nuggets comeback. Trailing by eight points with only 29 seconds left, Denver made their move. Back to Rodgers, it's a three-pointer, and it's good. Rodney with his second long range. Look at the D now, get a steal. Oh, he... Yes. They got the steal. Stolen by Robert Pack. 27 seconds left to Rodgers for three. He makes another one. Unbelievable. Jazz lead by two points. And by the Stockton, a steal for Pack. Rodney's got it back. He shoots at Jay in the corner. Good! It's good! Can you oh, believe what? that? I never had a moment like that where, you know, it depended on the game. It's easy when you're around the hoop to uh, put it in. But when you're 20, 21, 22 feet away, it's, it's kind of difficult. At a time when it looked like the game was just over, there's kind of a spark of light. He came down, he just made a three, and we thought it was just routine. When we took the ball out, they turned it over, and we, he shot another three. And then they threw it back in again. Somehow we got a tip, packed through it to Rodney. Rodney fading out in the corner area, knocks down another three. So we're like, yeah, we got a chance. Unbelievable! I've never seen anything like this. The Nuggets lead by one. Despite Rodney's heroic effort, Utah's Jeff Malone connected on a baseline jumper to give his team the win. Just something you never see. It was almost like it, it couldn't happen, like like a dream or something. But uh, it was just a you know a huge, huge deal for them. We we're fortunate to come out with a win. Rogers showed that he's a long-distance threat by connecting on 35 trays last season, but that's not the record for first-year shooting proficiency. Can you name the player who holds the record for most three-pointers in a rookie season? The answer when we return, right here on NBA Action. It's the greatest show on Earth. Flying through the air with the greatest of ease. Is the circus in town? 